The beautiful dragonflies are found on wetlands like marshes, swamps, and free-flowing rivers on almost every continent. The head of International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, stated the importance of dragonflies is underestimated. They are beautiful animals. Uh, just watching them, it's just amazing. All sorts of different colors and their flight patterns are just amazing to, to, to observe. But beyond that, they have really important service. So dragonflies, especially in the larval stage in the water, are really key predators in freshwater systems. So they eat larvae of other species, like mosquitoes. And as everybody knows, mosquitoes carry disease, malaria, yellow fever, and so on. So the dragonflies help with disease control. So they play a really key role there. Uh, dragonflies are also an important food source for other species, frogs, fish, birds, and so on. A lot of them depend on, on dragonflies. According to IUCN, their future is uncertain. Dragonflies need clean water to breed and thrive, and their decline is mostly driven by expansion of unsustainable agriculture and urbanization around the world. IUCN believes it is important for people to understand that the wetlands are just as important as the rainforest for our ecosystem, but it seems people are throwing rubbish into wetlands. Unfortunately, wetlands have this strange reputation as being uh, areas of waste land and people dump all sorts of rubbish into wetlands. Uh, they're often seen as areas that need to be reclaimed because they're not suitable for human habitation. They harbor disease. And so you often drive past wetland areas. There's a big billboard up saying being reclaimed and they get to build houses and factories and all sorts of other things. But meanwhile, we're going to lose the incredible wealth of biodiversity that's associated with those wetlands. Taylor hopes that by revealing the global loss of dragonflies, people will be more aware to protect wetlands and the wildlife. We have a major role in restoring wetlands area. We need all sectors of society involved. Uh, the commercial sector have a huge role to play. They often are directly involved in damaging wetlands around the world by building factories and other things in these so-called waste habitats. And, but likewise, local civil society can play a huge role in restoring ecosystems, restoring wetland uh, areas, doing surveys, doing counts, saying you know, how the dragonfly populations are doing in their own particular area. Dragonflies are more than just beautiful creatures. In Japan, this animal is part of an important culture as they are symbols of courage, strength, and happiness. Meanwhile, in Vietnam, dragonflies can predict the weather, especially rain. If it flies low, rain will come. If it flies high, it will be sunny. If they fly at the central level, it will be overcast. <laughs>